So hey y'all, I am getting ready. Cause hey I'm about to go. Somebody's trying to make an appearance, but you know. Okay. Hey y'all, so I'm getting ready. This will be a get ready with me. I'm about to do my makeup because I'm about to go have dinner with my friend. I just did my hair, so you know, but um, it's still gonna be a get ready with me because I know that this frontal, nine times out of 10, it lifted. I'm gonna take the scarf off and it's probably gonna be lifted. Hey, so anyway, y'all gonna see me fix that a little bit. And I'm gonna do my makeup. I just got out of the shower. I just cleansed my face. And now I'm about to beat this face because she already told me she on the way and I've been taking too long messing around with this hair. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my video and watch me do this makeup. So I've done my brows and now I'm about to do, I'm about to put a little bit of moisturizer on my cheeks and then um, I'm gonna do my foundation. I gotta do this real quick because it took me so long doing my hair and yeah, it took me forever doing my hair. So I'm about to rush zoom, zoom, zoom on this because Tiana love to talk about me taking too long. I'm just putting a little bit of this can't stop, won't stop sample that I got on my nose. It's the can't stop, won't stop um, primer. I'm trying to be cute though. Um, I only put like primer I only put it like uh, the, the mattifying primer on my T-zone, well in my T-zone because that's the only place where I really get oily. And then I also use two foundations. So I use the Maybelline Super Stay because it's mattifying. I use that on my um and my T-zone, and then I use the Born This Way foundation on my cheeks because I like to look a little dewy right there. I really wish I could slay. If it didn't take me so much time doing my hair, I would have been able to really, really slay like I wanted to. I don't know why I'm trying to slay, but mm -hmm. I just felt like getting cute. So what I want to talk about is the fact that you never know where life takes you. So years ago, I worked for H&M and I was a sales advisor in Chicago. I worked on State Street, downtown Chicago, and then I moved to Atlanta and I worked at Cumberland Mall. And so I really never thought that I would like be going back to H&M. But H&M is one of those companies where if you didn't like mess up, you know what I'm saying? You can always go back like, and for me it feels like home. Uh, it's a little weird though, I'm not gonna lie, cause like they got me doing training <laughs> and I'm like training. I mean, I know that's proper protocol, but it's just weird to have like them 
for them to have me paired up with somebody to train me. Only thing that I don't really know about is like the computer systems because they changed after I left. But other than that, I know pretty much everything there is to know about H and M. Period. So, mm -hmm. but I am I am grateful that I was able to come back because um, I don't know if I told you all I'm a freelance makeup artist for Mac. And so with that, you always gotta have something else. I mean, in life, you gotta have more than one hustle, you know, and then and when they say, when you in Atlanta, you gotta have a job and two hustles. So I got a job, I got two jobs. I got H&M, I got Mac, and I got freelancing outside of that, which is my hustle. But, um, I'm just trying to do stuff like I'm ready to you know be completely 100% independent <clears throat> I'm ready to have my own everything I don't want to depend on anybody to do anything don't mind my brush I, a lot of my brushes look like this but it's only because I don't know it's only because I just be like washing them and they get um in uh, the water like makes the the uh, the paint peel off which i hate i hate that after using different concealers i used to always use the la girl pro concealer but after using like different concealers like brighter concealers it makes my la girl pro concealer look so 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 dark not dark but just it just doesn't look as bright Basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm just going to do like a simple, like, I think I'm going to do it like a brown smoky eye. Because I ain't got time to be trying to play and, and mess around with nothing else, really. We really ain't got that type of time. Because I already know. She, she hungry. And I'm gonna be talked about if I don't hurry up. I don't know what they're doing at the um I'm right across from the Mercedes Benz Stadium and I don't know if they having a concert or what, but I definitely hear some music and it sound like Drake, but I just know I'm not missing a Drake concert. I would have been heard about that. I lucky wish I was over there. Atlanta always got something going on. That's one thing I can say about it. Like Atlanta always got something going on. Like if I could say anything good about it, it would be that like you're going to always, when you come here, you're going to always, it's going to be an event going on. You're going to have something to do. They have festivals in the summertime. It just be like so fun. Like you really don't have to worry about like Nothing getting shot up unlike Chicago. Chicago, you gotta worry about that. Like, you gotta think about that. Take that into consideration that something might get shot up. Is this Tiana? I'm not three minutes away. No, sis, you gotta come on up, sis. Cause I ain't done. And she know that. She know. She know who she dealing with. That's all I'm saying. Everybody be trying to act like they don't know who they dealing with. Like, one thing about me, I just can't, for the life of me, I cannot get ready fast. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just cannot get ready fast. But I'm gonna bust this eye out. <laughs> so I can hurry up. I hate rushing though. I really do hate rushing. But I always do this to myself. It never fails.
They definitely having a concert over there. I hear it. I don't know where my lashes is at. <gasps> I think I'm gonna use my Fenty concealer that you all seen on my last vlog. I ended up getting uh, 385. I think I told you all that. I ended up getting 385. So I really like this concealer. It's like, it's matte. It's not too drying for me, for my skin type. I don't know if I would use it on anybody that's like super try though. Okay. Beauty blender, beauty blender, beauty blender, where are you? Are you going? I don't even be using a beauty blender like that for my concealer, but tonight I got to because I ain't got time to be sitting up there trying to blend, blend, blend with that brush. That brush make, gives you a flawless finish. The pink brush that I always use for my concealer, it gives you a flawless finish, but at the same time, you really have to sit there and blend. Like, you gotta make sure that stuff is blended like well, well. And if you're in a rush, it ain't for you. it ain't it ain't gonna be the thing to use. It ain't the thing to use. I'm just using my love black radius contour kit. What's crazy is I just want to talk about this real quick. I literally always tag black radius in my videos and stuff like that. And like not my videos. Uh, well, yeah, I tagged them in my last video, but I always tag them on my Instagram. And I asked them like, you know, what do I have to do to be featured on your page? What do I have to do to like get PR packages? So like, what do I have to do? And they said, thank you for your interest. Keep on tagging us. What? After y'all been tagged a million times? Yeah, that, that's all you can say is thank you. Keep on tagging. Hmm, okay. Well, it's not going to make me stop using the product, but I know I would never ask again. And if, if, they, and if they ever tried to send me something, like, I probably would <laughs> I probably would take it, but I would be like, oh, I would be talking hella, hella smack. Like, oh, now y'all fucking with the kid. Fuck with the kid now, huh? A lot of YouTubers talk about that. Like, you know, how these places, they don't really mess with you at first until you get like your followers up and stuff and your subscribers up and now they're... Now they, now they, they notice you. Now that now you get some type of notoriety. But hey, I guess that's the way of the new world, social media world. Like people treat you like you're nobody if you don't have the follower count, if you don't have the subscri subscriber count. It's it's unfortunate. It really is. Hey y'all, she in here. Right. <laughs> I'm just about to put on my lashes real quick. I can't find my lashes that I already had. Oh, I got some lashes on my hands. Who was that? We'll talk. We'll talk off camera. I was doing a uh, get ready. That's why you really was taking so long. <laughs> no, that really wasn't. You might be the wig, I didn't even do the wig on camera. 
Did you regret that wig? Did I remake it? No. Oh, so it fit. Oh, this is the frontal wig. Yeah, the one you just made. No, that was the closure. This is the frontal wig that I had for my birthday. Oh. You look cute. Thank you. So you know where you want to eat at? I was like, where the hell are we going to sit at and figure it out? Not in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Not out there. It's so crazy to me in Atlanta how like you be in a really nice area and then you be like, why crazy? You know what I'm saying? Cause my yeah. They sound like they're having a concert. I don't know, I've seen a whole bunch of white people out there. They was playing some black music. I was like, what concert they got going on over there? It's raining, I see. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting that. I came outside, I was like, oh. oh. They proceed really nice though. Wait, who is she? I met her in Miami last year. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love me. Oh, this is Okay. Cause I never be with you and all your bullshit. I just did a little, I thought I was gonna do a brown smoky eye, but I ended up doing a burgundy smoky eye. See, you hear no, if you book, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was a whole bunch of white people. I don't know. You know, white people like rapping. They so. do. <laughs> they do. So, that doesn't mean anything. They don't even, that don't even matter, actually. Well, I'm a get, so. Just so holding. Alright. Mascara. My plan is in my shower time angel. My Victoria's Secret. Still lifted. I can't deal with this. I can't deal. I cannot deal with frontals. Forget it. Forget it. Yeah, I'm showing Tiana. Tiana just came over here. I'm showing her. I said, You want to see yourself on the big screen? I'm seeing myself. I'm retarded as hell. You didn't look retarded. You look cute. I normally don't look like that. I looked at that. I'm just crazy as hell. She look cute. You was looking at yourself in the viewfinder? How damn. This lace that lace done lifted. I'm trying to lay this lace back down. I'ma just hold it just like that, just like that. I definitely ain't got that much foundation on my forehead. That looks stupid. <laughs> oh God, look at my face. What was you doing? I don't know what I was doing. T Christopher, tell me something. I want to know what was the conversation when y'all was uh when you was doing her makeup. Perfectly blended well. What was we talking about? I said we weren't talking about nothing important. 
You know, I tried to, I tried to mess with this frontal, but whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not gonna keep on playing with it. So I just got on some black denim, some black boots, and a black jacket with a gray top. And that's it. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on another video. Say bye, TJ. I want to bye bye. <laughs> See, that's why you, that's that's why you think you be looking crazy. <laughs> All right. Martin Luther up there. Coretta Scott. Coretta Scott King and Martin Luther King. All right, come on, Black History. All right, so I'm about to look over this menu. You gonna give us no menu? Oh. <laughs> We're at this restaurant called Past Shells. And it's a uh, it's a southern restaurant. So I'm gonna look over this menu. It's so crowded here. They got a little upstairs. They probably, I wonder what they do upstairs. They have something about they do wedding receptions here. Oh, okay. History Month. We have past shelves now. We don't know the history yet, but <laughs> we're about to find out what's the history. I'm about to go to the bathroom again. Okay. Here you go. Some more Black History pictures. Coretta Scott. All right, my mother. All right. Here. Okay. Okay, this is like a little banquet hall or another little overflow room. We got my line. Y'all haven't seen Good Girls? Good Girls is really good. It's really good. It's funny. It's a it's a funny little series on Netflix. But yeah, so about to do that. And I don't know why. Like 
the fact that I like this lit up right here, this is pretty to me. Oh yeah, and y'all, I found out who was having a concert. It was Jacquees and Dreezy, but I don't know who else was having a concert, but I do know that it was Jacquees and Dreezy. But yeah, so it's a little rainy, rainy Friday. Boogaloo was not hitting on shit to us. So everybody was low key standing around. Everybody was looking lost like they was like, God damn, where am I? I don't know, but that's the end of this vlog for now. Gonna eat my snacks. I got some snacks. And gonna take this lipstick off because it's gonna be a fool. Good night.